to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel i'm grace i'm a microbiologist microorganisms are those organisms too small to be seen with the unaided eye except for the use of microscope a device used to visualize objects too small to be seen with the unaided eye the study of microorganisms is known as microbiology microorganisms are dominant life form on earth and um, they are found in almost every environment and they are essential for sustaining life form on earth microbiologists study two biological entities these are cellular and cellular organisms cellular organisms are those organisms that are form of cells and they can either be prokaryotes or eukaryotes Prokaryotic organisms are those organisms that lack true nucleus and membrane bond organelles. Why eukaryotic organisms are those organisms that possess true nucleus and membrane bond organelles? And they include bacterial, fungi, algae, protozoal, and archaea. Why are cellular organisms are those organisms? that lack cell structure those include viruses bacteria bacteria are prokaryotic cells they are unicellular in nature they are found predominantly in the soil water and air including area with extreme temperature ph and salinity they are major inhabitants of the human body. In fact, more microbial cells are found in the human body than there are human cells. This group of microorganisms causes diseases. And this is why most people think that they are all pathogens, which means an agent that is capable of causing infection. But that is not true because there are relatively few micro uh, bacteria that causes um, infection. In fact, most of them play beneficial roles, like the ones found in large intestine. They are they are they carry out digestion of food and as well produce vitamins, which help to build the immune system and thereby maintaining health. They are also used in various industrial purposes, such as the production of antibiotics, vitamins, and enzymes. The fungi. Fungi are diverse group of microorganisms that range from unicellular form, which are the yeast, to multicellular form, which are the mold and mushroom. They have unusual metabolic activities and therefore they are capable of causing diseases in plants and animals and also they also cause diseases in humans although some of them play beneficial roles this include making bread dough rice and as well they also they also help to improve poor soils and production of antibiotics. The viruses. Viruses are those organisms that can only replicate when inside a living cell. These organisms are very small, but they cannot be underestimated because they cause diseases in all life form, ranging from plants, animals, and even humans including other microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, and 